this, do that. How would things be different with a normal family? Ten sex to take a breather. could stay awake to hear it excuse me just who do you think you're speaking to oh shut it connie you're already starting crap i got the right to say what i mean your fancy jazz is putting me to sleep <laughs> really no i don't know what indignities you and this country thrift store are forced to survive out here I scavenge these threads from Charleston Landfill, fair and square. You're living in a bubble, lady. The wasteland ain't no place for some schnazzy... Sorry, I'd better keep an eye on this. Get out of my club! Get out! Out! Oh, jeez Louise. You don't have to tell me twice. Mind your Either business, way, pal. Your singing sucks anyway. Oh, the nerve! Stick around and you're in for a well, musical that was interesting. Welcome to the Rose Room. Anything to drink? What? I apologize on behalf of my mother. We'll have enough trouble getting people in here without her immediately scaring them away. To be honest, this is more turnout than I expected. Which is welcome, of course. I mean, I just hope the rest of them are friendly. <clears throat> Anything to drink? Yeah, well, I've got more of them than I'd like. Sorry, it's not your job to hear me complain. It's your job to relax, have a drink, and enjoy the music. So, what can I help you with? Yeah. Yeah, I, I really could. My mom thought we weren't going to have any trouble tonight, but... The crowd I've seen so far... I have my doubts. Big ones. If you feel inclined, um, could you keep an eye out? Maybe, if it's necessary, handle a fight? But keep a low profile about it so Mom doesn't freak out. I'd really appreciate it. <sighs> right, of course not. I wouldn't expect you to. The head's just all over the place lately. This is what I can spare. Go ahead and join the audience. If nothing happens, then, um, you can enjoy the show just like everyone else. I hope that's the case, but, you know, better safe than sorry. And thank you. I do really appreciate the help. Use my time wisely, please. Hello, folks. Rowdy looking bunch out there. Well, as I say, there's no better cure for a long day than some snazzy tunes. Sit back and enjoy. <laughs> I can't listen to this baloney no more. Let's light this place up. God damn it! Everyone, come see me give the goddamn signal. Go fight that! Easier 
I heard he's gonna snow no, later. Do you to follow think so? simple instructions? It's supposed to snow. Just this guy before he croaks. I mean, really? <coughs> what does on my signal mean to you? Does it mean whatever the hell you want? Then you're just as bad as the rest of these harebrained knuckleheads bleeding out all over the floor. It was simple. Wait for all the Russos to be in the room together. Shoot on my signal. I couldn't follow either one. Almost makes me happy to be put out of my freaking misery. <coughs> Wouldn't you like to know? Whoever it was, they're wasting their time sending you all this way. Hey, I told them the same thing, lady. Starting to think they wanted to get rid of me, too. Vincenzo, what did you do? What? Really? You of all people are gonna point your finger at me? <coughs> Guess every one of you nutsos has a reason to be afraid of payback from Atlantic City. Sleep tight, Russos. I may not be the last to come for you. Just nonsense is all it is. We can't let them scare us. We don't know who they are to begin with. Oh, don't act like you're above all this. For all we know, someone at City Hall oh, has it out for you. That? I can't even begin to tell you how little you know about me and City... Shit, Abby, are you okay? Get away from me. Oh, they know. I thought I covered my tracks. They're gonna come back, they're gonna... What are you talking about? She's got the shakes. Could be she's danced with the devil. You're my own mom. Don't talk to me like... <sighs> Crap. I think you're right. Those who fancy themselves part of the Atlantic City High Life have access to a special intoxicant. They drink the devil's blood. I should have paid more attention. Must be the stress of the move got to her. You say that now? All of this was your idea. We're so busy dealing with your problems, there's no room for anyone else. Is that really how you feel, Vincenzo? Yes, it is 100% absolutely how I feel. After everything I've done for us, everything I've sacrificed, unbelievable. Sorry about all this. I was right to expect trouble, just not this much of it. I really appreciate that. Just uh, please go talk to my mother for me. It was a bad time to set her off. Right now, we just need to figure out how to help Abby. Thank you. I know you'll have better luck than I would. They're gonna come for me. 
is a failure. I offer drinks, games, music, more excitement and luxury than this dreary mountain range has ever seen, and what do I get? An audience full of hitmen, a strung out daughter, and an unappreciative son! Just ridiculous! Nothing makes sense anymore! I'm so cold. Of course he does. And I'd like one thing in the last 20 years of my life to count as a success. Is that so much to ask for? Ah, oh, fine. I'll come downstairs and help. The extra moment of peace isn't worth delaying the inevitable. What was that? But it's not like I'll be able to do anything anyway. You think I'm not concerned? Let me ask you something. What do you do to de-stress? Read a comic? Listen to the radio? It's the apocalypse. Maybe you something. go out and blow some heads off. Where did I screw Whatever up? Whatever it is, it's a distraction. A tool to stay sane under pressure. So don't you dare judge me for keeping my head above water. Much better to complain than to have an emotional breakdown. What are you implying? You don't know anything about me! I did what, was, what was necessary to survive in a cutthroat industry full of insane people! If they'd come after me for that, let them! Once a paradise, now a madhouse. Everyone lost their sanity after the bombs. The showmen are the worst of all. Avoid them at all costs. Do me one favor first. Go upstairs and let my husband Antonio know what's happening. It's he may so not cold. understand, but he should at least be told. must have left something. Where did I screw up? Well, uh, pleasure to meet you. Welcome to the Russo's Haven. <laughs> how, how, how do you like the festivities? Blood of the devil? Now, that doesn't sound like something anybody should be drinking. Oh, they're gonna come for me. My daughter. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. She's a great kid. Uh, Fast learner. 
resilient and stubborn. <laughs> she, what, does, does she need something? Hitman? What hitman? Have you been watching too much television? Must, must have left something. Where did I screw My up? My daughter. Oh, um, wait, oh, you know, I, I still remember catching little Abby with a pack of candy pilfered from the convenience store. <laughs> so clever. Yeah. It's so stubborn. <laughs> I, I never thought that, that she would, uh, What was that? Uh, um, what? Uh, were, were, were we talking about somebody? Going already, but you you just said hello. What, what was that? Must have left something. You're back. Where did I screw up? Thanks for that. Look, I've done some thinking. Devil's blood is highly addictive, and withdrawal is dangerous. It could even be fatal. We're hundreds of miles away from anyone who knows what to do about this. Doctors here are only going to know about regular must, cows. Must have left something. Where the did doctor's I screw not up? good enough anyway. We need the blood. Correct. And the only way to get to Atlantic City in a timely fashion is a vertebrate. Say, you don't happen to be on good terms with the refuge, do you? Who are you? Get away. Well then, uh, how much of a people person are you? I need to ask you something crazy. Because you don't really know us, and, and really, from what you've seen so far, have no reason to trust us. But my sister is in trouble, so I'm going to ask. Could you fly to Atlantic City and bring back a dose of Devil's Blood? Uh, you make the second part of that sound like a simple ask. I did say it was crazy. But please, and I really mean it, it'd be a bad idea for any of us to go back there right so now. Cold. If newcomers like us could even negotiate a flight in the first place. It's an exclusive camp, typically only accessible to high society and to the people that source it. The mob. You'll have to find one of them. See what you can negotiate. You're not joking, right? Oh, you can pull this off. We, Abby, need you too. Please, just let us know as soon as possible if anything goes wrong. I'll do whatever I can for her in the meantime. So cold. No, no! Don't wipe your shoes at the entrance! We would love for you to track blood and dirt all over the dance floor. 